is particularly important. Chief Minister Basav Raj Bomai has commented on the waterlogging taking place across Bengaluru. Remember, Bengaluru is seeing some of the worst rains it's ever seen right now. Uh, he said, we'll call IT companies and speak with them related to issues they're facing. We'll also discuss the compensation and other related damages caused due to the rain. Let's go back to my colleague Harish Upadhyay, who's with us live reporting on this entire story. Harish, what do you make of this reply that's come in from the Chief Minister? Well, it doesn't help much. Uh, he's saying that we will have a round of meeting with all the IT companies and ask them what their problem is. Now, I think it's out there. Nobody, it's, it's not rocket science. It doesn't need a committee to find out what the problem is. Everyone knows it's been there for the last few years. What we need is a plan, a plan that gets implemented, which gets monitored on a day-to-day -day basis. What are the issues? Flooding, address that. We do not have lake capacity. Lakes are being encroached. Lakes are being filled with by construction debris. Ensure that lakes are rejuvenated. Ensure that Rajakaluways, which are the major stormwater drains, that uh, that ensure that uh, the rainwater uh, goes and drains into these lakes are clear. It's not encroached. The government says there were more than 1,000 encroachments on Rajakaluways. Only 500 of them have been removed. What about the rest of them? When will the government remove it? Is there a time? based plan that the government can give people. Third, we are seeing construction work going on for a very long time. Several of these projects are delayed. How will the government ensure that it happens on time? And one of the caller mentioned about uh, mass transport system. Metro is said to be the answer, but uh, we have seen that going at a very snail pace, only connecting parts of the city. Is there a larger plan that the government wants to implement on a war footing? These are issues that anyone would tell you in Bangalore that the government needs to address. Why is the government now spending one more day on meeting IT companies and taking their reviews? It will just end up becoming dinner table conversation there with everyone saying the same thing and the chief minister and the government are assuring uh, that they will ensure that these things are implemented. Nothing much happens. The other aspect is how the city gets administered. For the last two years, the city doesn't have an elected council. We do not have corporators now. There is no mayor. We are run. The entire city is being run by bureaucrats and 28 MLAs and the chief minister holding the Bangalore development portfolio. A city that has in excess of one crore people and such teething issues, we need a minister who can monitor things on a day-to-day -day basis. We know what kind of problems that uh, Mr. Boma is dealing on a day-to-day -day basis. Will he have time for city and city's problem uh, every day? Can he hold meetings every day? Can he go inspection every week? Not possible. There are too many things that he has to handle as a chief minister. Can the BJP set aside its own internal RIF and allocate the Bangalore development portfolio to MLA from Bangalore and ensure that this gets the projects and the changes promised get implemented? Why do we not have a Bangalore Development Minister? That's because the BJP is afraid that if one MLA gets Bangalore Development Minister, he becomes very uh, strong or there might be others in the city, other MLAs of the BJP in the city who might feel irked, they might feel that they're being sidelined. And that's the reason, despite having good four to five ministers from Bengaluru, we do not have any of them holding Bangalore Development uh, uh, portfolio. All of them are holding other portfolios. The chief minister holds the Bangalore development portfolio. He should come out and tell people on whether he has the time. He does, can he dedicate a large chunk of his uh, daily time for Bangalore works or Bangalore related issues? No, he doesn't. So it's time we get a dedicated Bangalore development minister. These are issues that need to be addressed. A meeting with IT companies might not help much. It's just for optics, that's it. Okay, Harish, thank you. We have more callers calling us in. We have uh, Kasturi Shankar. She's with us. She's an actor in Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and Kannada films. We'll go to her. We also have Brijesh Kalappa from the Congress. He's also with us. Let's go over though first to Kasturi because we have had her waiting for a little while. Kasturi, thank you so much for joining us on the show this morning. Uh, Kasturi, are you a resident of Bangalore right now? Are you grappling with the, the heavy rainfall and the waterlogging right now across the city? I'm not a resident of Bangalore, but uh, Bangalore is uh, very close to my heart. I have family as well as friends there, and I uh, trace a long relationship uh, from um, when I was a child with that beautiful city. And it hurts and breaks my heart to see the people of Bengaluru paying the okay. price 
Uh, oh, Kasturi, yeah, I am so sorry. Yeah. Kasturi, we do have to switch tracks just a second. We have DK Shivkumar, the senior Congress leader. He's with us right now. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for calling the show. Sir, I want to understand from you, this statement's just come in from uh, the Chief Minister, Basavraj Bumai, where he said he will speak to IT industry heads, but many are saying this isn't enough action and it's too little too late, sir. What's your reaction? See, the government doesn't know the priority. IGBT people pay 39% of the revenue to the country, hmm. export revenue to the country. Hmm. They are the most tax payers. We have to address them first. With this tax, we are running the country and even the state. So their problems have to be addressed. And here at the time of uh, Manmohan Singh Ji, whatever this IGBT people requested for the flyovers, uh, for the transportation of these days, on the metro issues, everything was being sorted out by day by day. By the, then the central government and the state government also. But today, now Mr. Bamba himself is the Bangu city minister, and he should give him priority. He doesn't have trust in the people of this uh, Bangu or so. So now we should see that now it is already too late. I think uh, last uh, the last three years, these waves are coming up. And we should have planned well. No proper planning has been done. I think uh, I don't want it to make much politics of it. But still, it is the responsibility of any government and the corporation to see that these issues should be sorted out. We, we, we before proper planning, when rain comes, uh, all the uh, basements will be closed, there will be big glasses uh, on the waterfront and all. And whatever this... Uh, and drainages which are there has to be cleared. So when this uh, proper planning is there, all this type of ruckus happens. I'm very sorry for them. They are very good people. They give us employment. They give us jobs. They give us economy. They are the strength of the Karnataka. I think we have to address them. That is the priority of the government. Sir, can I ask you a question here? Many are asking, many are saying the city needs a development minister who's focused on Bengaluru. Uh, Mohandas Pai was saying the city should have had a crisis group in the last five days. So what concrete steps do you think should have been taken? I fully agree with you. Someone should be accountable for this. As of my, all of us should be accountable. Hmm. It is not one or two. Every one of us should be accountable. And all the legislators of Bangalore also should be responsible for this. Hmm. We all have to work. We all have to work to save these uh, people because, as rightly said earlier, also they have, they have the, the contribution to the uh, Karnataka and the Indian economy is too high, hmm. and there is no accountability here. Poor Chief Minister, I think uh, he doesn't know my he may be the Chief Minister, but he doesn't know the uh, pulse of Bangalore and the problems of Bangalore. Hmm. And sir, last question for you, sir. We know elections are coming to Karnataka in a little while. If Congress comes into power, could we possibly see a dedicated city development I'm minister? I'm telling you, I have a vision for Bangalore. I have a mission for Bangalore. Hmm. Yeah, we, we have worked out a strategy. We know at the time of SM Krishna, hmm. we had a very big master plan. We whatever the decision. We are also already planning what has to be done to Bangalore. Within the next couple of days, we'll give a big master plan for the growth of Bangalore. We want the glory of Bangalore to be retained and the brand Bangalore to be retained. Okay. Sir, thank you. Thank you.